you for stopping by today. I'm going to say that you probably clicked on this video because of the tile in the front. There are unicorns in the Bible. Yes, there is unicorns in the Bible. No, it's not the mythical unicorn that we know, but what I do know is that the unicorn did have a horn. Psalms 92 verse 10. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mm, that's something, you know, because I know a lot of people are probably shocked to know that that's in there. That just popped into my head the other day because when I was studying the Bible, I ran through that. And I thought that was neat. Would you believe it's mentioned several times in the Bible? But I believe that was the one that, I, that brought it to my attention. So um, I just thought that this was a fun fact to share with everybody. That yes, there was an animal once upon a time called a unicorn. No, it was not mythical and magical. Yes, it did have a horn. May not have even been a horse. It could have been like a rhinoceros or something along those lines. We don't know. But there you go the more you know. <laughs> so today I thought, because I put the Ash Wednesday video out yesterday, uh, that, you know, I really didn't know too much about it, but I, I have known of people to participate in Ash Wednesday. I knew it as Lent. This was not observed by Baptist. I'm a Baptist. Uh, we just don't do that and there's a reason for that and if you have not watched my ash wednesday video please do so because if you participate in that you're denying christ please take a few minutes and i'm gonna link that down in the description please watch that video okay so today's song is gonna be the old rugged cross we're getting close to Easter, and it's really about the death of Jesus. He saved us. This is why we do not need to rub ashes on our head and celebrate a tradition that is not biblical with people who are adding to scripture. That's not a good idea, and I encourage you to run from that. But I'm going to celebrate what Jesus did on the old rugged cross, and I'm going to sing the old rugged cross. So please, by all means, sing this with me, and I just hope that God helps you to grow for him today. Okay, let's, let's get started. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame for I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown oh that old Get cross so despised by the world what a wonder such action praise God for me for the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will clean to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown to the old rugged cross i will ever be true 
It's shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he'll call me one day to my home far away where is glory for ever i'll share so i'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last i lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. You know, guys, when I get that crown, I'm going to turn right back around and hand it back to him. Because it's not mine to begin with. I'm just glad to be there. I hope that somebody got a blessing out of that today and that you'll grow for God and that you'll reject Ash Wednesday. And if you haven't already, if you would, please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel and help me to pollinate the world with the good news of the gospel through music. I have a feeling we're going to be doing more than just that. But you know what? Everybody's got to get their start somewhere, and this is mine, and I'm just so thankful that you guys are supporting me. So I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.